स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वे स्टडी प्लांट एनाटॉमी अब नॉर्मल टाइप्स ऑफ सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ एनोमेलस सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ एनोमेलस सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ एंड एनोदर ट्रम अब नॉर्मल सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ डेविएशन इन द कैम्बेन एक्टिविटी from the normal type found in most of the dicots the abnormal activity gives the abnormal secondary growth which known as anomalous secondary growth prevalent classified anomalous secondary growth into adaptive and non adaptive anomaly adaptive anomaly includes lenas which are woody climbers of tropics non adaptive type anomaly includes anomaly of rumex boyravia bougainvillea mirabilis and chinopodium these are the very popular examples of anomalous secondary growth types of abnormal secondary growth anomalous secondary growth we divide in two types first one is abnormal behavior of normal cambium second is abnormal behavior of abnormal cambium first we study abnormal behavior of normal cambium the cambium forms vascular tissues only in the region of vascular bundle the cambium forms usually large proportion vascular tissues only in the region of vascular bundle the cambium also forms irregular patches of parenchyma in xylem second one is abnormal behavior of abnormal cambium formation of rings vascular bundles embedded in parenchymatous tissue formation of rings of vascular bundled embedded in conjunctive tissue we study first various examples of abnormal behavior of normal cambium in the first part of our topic in many wood tree climbers or lianas the cambium is normal in position but its activity is abnormal it means the normal cambium normal position but activity is abnormal and with the result anomalous secondary structures are formed this types of growth known as abnormal behavior of normal cambium anomalous secondary growth we divided in further categories the first one is the a cambium forms vascular tissues only in the region of vascular bundle area for the example we study for this region we study cucurbita stem the stem of cucurbita around 10 vascular bundles arranged in two rings of five of each each vascular bundle is conjoint open and bicolateral having an outer and inner cambium the outer cambium of both inner and outer bundles become active along with the parenchymatous cells of the ground tissue and the combined to form a more or less wavy ring of cambium this normal cambium behaves abnormally as it cuts off secondary xylem and phloem in vascular bundle region only resulting in the increased size of the bundle tears of cucurbita stem as we seen inner ring of vascular bundle which covered by outer ring of vascular bundle 
each one have five five vascular bundles in each ring these are another diagrams which explain the cucurbita stem two rings of vascular bundle next one is b type b the cambium forms usually large proportion vascular tissues only in the region of vascular bundles for example we study bignonia stem the ring stem shows a wavy outline with prominent ridges and furrows at the start of secondary growth the vascular and intervascular cambium become active and join to form a cambium ring this cambium ring behaves normally in the beginning giving more secondary xylem towards inner side and very less secondary phloem on outer side however after some time the cambium rings develops unidirectional areas of cambium at four diagonal points and at these four points lesser amounts of xylem are cut off internally whereas massive amount of secondary phloem are cut off externally these phloem masses masses intrude inwards forming for deep wedges of irregular width and supported by transverse bands of scolaritic cells ts of bignonia stem four wedges sap patches easily seen in center area due to abnormal activity of normal position cambium cellular ts of bignonia stem micrographic ts of bignonia stem the cambium forms regular irregular patches of parenchyma in xylem the third type for example we study artica dioica the young stem of artica shows a typical dicot structure having a ring of conjoint open and collateral vascular bundles at an early stage a normal cambium ring is formed which behave normally cutting off secondary xylem towards inner side and secondary phloem towards outer side however after some time the cambium begins to behave abnormally in certain places cutting off parenchyma cell on the inner side instead of secondary xylem after cutting off a group of parenchyma cells the cambium again begins to behave normally and resumes its normal activity forming secondary xylem above the parenchyma group this process repeated again and again resulting in the formation of islands of parenchyma which are embedded in secondary xylem or wood these ts easily scam explain 
solving alternative bands of secondary xylem and parenchymatous bands.